Sandflies A neglected tropical skin disease caused by the penetration of female sand fleas, particularly tunga penetrans, into the epidermis of the host, has been a growing concern among travelers returning from endemic areas. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment are crucial for preventing complications. Clinical suspicion, often based on the clinicodermoscopic correlation, is a key element in the identification of tungiasis cases. This article explores the significance of ex vivo dermoscopy, a technique that offers visual confirmation of the parasite's head and its distended abdomen filled with eggs, thus serving as a valuable diagnostic aid. Dermoscopy is a non-invasive diagnostic tool primarily used to evaluate skin lesions and structures. In the case of tungiasis, it enables healthcare professionals to examine the skin closely, helping in the early detection and diagnosis of the parasite. Clinical suspicion is often the first step, but dermoscopy takes the confirmation of diagnosis to the next level. Ex vivo dermoscopy is a technique that involves the examination of the extracted sand flea, especially its head and distended abdomen, under magnification. This method provides direct visual confirmation of the parasite's presence and its reproductive status. Confirming the diagnosis The impregnated female sand flea, Tunga penetrans, exhibits distinctive features under dermoscopy. The head is characterized by a central pore, and the distended abdomen appears as a bag of eggs. These unique dermoscopic findings serve as definitive diagnostic criteria for tungiasis, enabling healthcare professionals to confirm the presence of the parasite. In summary, ex vivo dermoscopy plays a pivotal role in confirming the diagnosis of tungiasis. By directly visualizing the distinctive features of the sand flea, including its head and bag of eggs, this technique provides a reliable method for diagnosis and contributes to the effective management of this parasitic skin disease. Early identification and treatment are crucial for preventing complications and improving the overall health and well-being of affected individuals, especially those returning from endemic areas. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.